Hello everybody, it's Poet WP again here, um, part two, uh, reading of the Dhammapada, the original sayings of Gautama Buddha, the original Buddha, the purest source of Buddhism. Part two, wakefulness. <clears throat> wakefulness is the way to life. The fool sleeps as if he were already dead. But the master is awake, and he lives forever. He watches. He is clear. How happy he is, for he sees that wakefulness is life. How happy he is, following the path of the awakened. With great perseverance, he meditates, seeking freedom and happiness. <clears throat> so awake, reflect, watch, work with care, sorry, and attention. Live in the way and the light will grow in you. By watching and working, the master makes for himself an island, which the flood cannot overwhelm. The fool is careless, but the master guards his watching. It is his most precious treasure. He never gives in to desire. He meditates, and in the strength of his resolve, he discovers true happiness. He overcomes desire. And from the tower of wisdom, he looks down with dispassion upon the sorrowing crowd. <clears throat> from the mountaintop, he looks down on those who live close to the ground. Mindful among the mindless, awake while others dream, swift as the racehorse, he outstrips the field. By watching, Indra became king of the gods. How wonderful it is to watch, how foolish to sleep. The beggar who guards his mind and fears the waywardness of his thoughts burns through every bond with the fire of vigilance. Sorry, there we go. The beggar who guards his mind and fears his own confusion cannot fall. He has found the way to peace. Okay, this is into part two. And let me find my Alex Gray bookmark. And we will move on to part three, mind, next. Thank you very much for tuning in. Like I said, this is some of the best information in the whole universe that can be spread. So, um, like, share, and subscribe. We'll read the whole thing. It's only about 80 pages long. Okay. See you next time. Bye-bye.